<laughs> but uh, yeah, um, I didn't know that. Um, because I was wondering, because I saw that video, but I was wondering why. What was the deal with the guy? I'd never seen him before. Talking about forcing behaviors. Uh, yeah, yeah. But now you pretty much cleared it up to me that these this guy's giving these people money to put these type of things in in gaming. That's crazy. Yeah, that's crazy. That, yeah, that's that's what because like what it is like they're just communists doing what communists do because just like uh, Carl Silverberg said earlier, like this shit is like people don't want to admit it, but we didn't really win World War Two. <laughs> like it's it's not over it's still ongoing because what communists do is like they get they they're power hungry despots who want to control people no matter what and we're just facing the latest iteration in the modern era of a, a an attempted communist takeover not to get too political but you know i don't know if you've noticed how left the left is now versus how they were back in 2008 so yeah, they're like so. extreme left. So, but yeah, that's that's essentially what we're dealing with here. It, it's it's very concerning. It's dangerous, and uh, people need to realize that you know this is we're we're at war. We are at war. We call it the culture war. You know, when people think of war, it's like well, no one's shooting guns. We're like, yeah, not yet. <laughs> but uh, the culture is like typically the first thing they try to attack. That's why I say when you see women. The OnlyFans generation, the the pushing for promiscuous relationships, no more families, no one's having kids anymore. Everyone's a, a sex despot. Everyone's lazy, doesn't want to really commit to much. And technology is like flying as far in in the in the direction of Orwellian levels of invasive privacy. You're you're no longer allowed to be alone. This is why I have a Linux Linux computer now. Don't trust Microsoft because they put a lot of shit on the back end that you don't have any control over. Like, this is why, you know, it sounds like some crazy doomsday prep, but I'm like, it is happening right. It's it's everywhere. And it's getting to a point to where you can't run away from it. You think you're just playing video games, but you're actually being, being uh, manipulated by uh, a, the attempts of, you know, communist indoctrination. And that's yeah. why you know they go for the 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 young. Gaming is so big and uh, influential influential now. We have to go for gaming. They they realized that back in 2012 because we coming out of uh, sixth gen going into seventh gen. Gaming was just it was making too much money. It's too much attention. They're just like yo, this shit makes more money than the mu music industry, the movie industry. We need to get in on this. Because, you know, bangers like uh, Grand Theft Auto, Grand Theft Auto 4 broke records. Grand Theft Auto 5 decimated those broken re records. <laughs> and then there was a whole wave of DLC and how things could be purchased. And it's just, it's crazy. <laughs> it's yeah. crazy. And people just kind of look like, oh, yeah, I can't wait for the, I can't wait for the next Vigia game. It's just like. Not in this day and age. <laughs> yeah, you think you're playing Spider-Man too, but you're actually playing like, hey, white people suck and black people are, are the best too. <laughs> so, and it's, it's so crazy. Here. So, I never understood. So, this one thing I never understood. Why, why attack uh, the white male? It seems like whenever they want to attack somebody, they're always attacking the white male. Like, okay, you know, if there's a white male in the game, we got to get this out of here, you know. Or we have to make that white male look weak. Uh -huh. I, I don't understand why they keep doing that. All right, so you ready for some uncomfortable truths? What is that? <laughs> okay, so some of this is like pure speculation on my point. I don't think I'm that far off, but this is why. So in the 60s, when they introduced the uh, the feminist movement, the, the next wave of feminism and crack into the black communities. I believe that was all a test to to try to bring a group of people to heal. It wasn't mm. meant exclusively for black people. It was meant for white people. But white people bounced out of that shit relatively quickly because there was a more of them and B, there was a stronger sense of uh, unity between them. 
because you know black black people were pretty vulnerable because you know there's a whole jim crow slavery racism and stuff was pretty fresh so we didn't really get an opportunity to link with our women that's why feminism was so appealing to women black women specifically because they were just like look i'm tired of struggling i need a way out and the government was like hey <laughs> hey we get rid of get rid of that man and you know get on the government program and we'll take care of you you know just like a lot of communist policy starts out like something good and useful but it never leaves and now fast forward years later you have these inner cities full of the, the black community is essentially a matriarchy and there is no father figure to properly uh raise young men and the young mm -hmm. and to destroy a country you have to destroy the men if mm -hmm. there's there's no men left to defend it yeah so uh mission accomplished for the blacks we got to get the whites next because in order to bring the whole country to heal america's majority white so now the reason why they keep trying to push it so aggressively now is because like they they are either worried that they're about to lose that because of course you know we're pushing back in every way that we can but that's why they try to institutionalize all this stuff because all this stuff really started as far as i know our generation becoming aware of it started in 2008 when a certain somebody became president but <laughs> you know nobody wants to admit that that's kind of where things were going like we call it the uniparty it's not just democrats it's republicans and democrats it's like it's like a it's a controlled effort to bring one of the 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 biggest most influential country to heal because once you control america you control the world so right. okay that's interesting that mm. that makes sense so let me see if i understand so mm. you're saying that women are essentially trying to put uh white men under heel so they can control them is that what it is essentially because like women are the reason why women are such a, a important uh target is because women women are more influential than men despite what you may believe because mm. and not not in a way that like oh well women didn't create all this stuff like no men did but again well what, what what drives a man to do anything women and children yes sex but yes you're right because a lot of the things that we've accomplished throughout human history came from a deep-seated desire to protect what we hold dear our families and if we didn't have one we created one the only way to create one is with a woman so if you wanted to target a uh, a country's ability to thrive you would first take out the ability for men and women to court each other properly and you can see this very clearly in the black community oh yeah and um 100 yeah like just look at it like what's happening in the black community they're trying to find a way to do it uh, to a much bigger scale for the white community because mm -hmm. a lot of you know white people essentially keep this country running i know you uh, people keep saying like oh black people the slaves but it shut up there's not enough of you here to do that but for like a lot of these uh for like for america specifically it's over 70 percent of the country is white so if you're able to uh pull off what you did to the black community on a bigger scale to the white community then you win you know yeah. it's game over yeah it seems like there's a lot of shaming tactics towards white males nowadays uh yeah. especially when it comes to gaming uh, like I was hinting at earlier, you know, Spider-Man taking the backseat to, to Miles Morales. Um, and like I said, the 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 president of uh, Sweet Baby Inc. talking about white males and what my, white males like and it needs to change and things like that. So it mm -hmm. just seems like, you know, yeah, there, yeah. it's like it's almost like. <laughs> it's almost like I gotta like as a black man, I gotta defend a white man getting getting attacked. And it's like the uh, weirdest thing. <laughs> it's well, like the weirdest weirdest thing. Cause like Sweet Baby Inc. they 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 preach diversity, but 
how can you be, you know, diverse and preach inclusion and not include the white male? Isn't well, that like it, it, it's so hypocritical? Well, that's, it's like I said, it's the reason why, because like the stuff they're going after isn't by mistake. Because again, the biggest consumer demographic in America is is white people, and when it comes to gaming, white men. And they're trying to get rid of white men because if you demoralize and destroy men, they're not going to want to make families, uh, uh, defend their homeland, all this stuff. Like it's like it worked for the black community. That's why they keep trying to push racism because racism is one of the skeletons in America's closet. That is, and they've been doing this for years. There's a book called uh, uh, "Color of Communism and Common Sense" written by a guy named uh, I think it's like Charles Manning or Manning Johnson. Mm. And he is a uh, he is a, a black guy who used to be a communist because when they and this is way back in like uh, I believe the fifties or sixties they yeah. approached him because black churches are part of the problem too not all of them but historically they are and the yeah. NAACP same shit but they uh, historically they they were called the red coats back then they approached disenfranchised you know. Um, blacks and told them like, hey, become a communist, push our message, do all this stuff for us, and we can guarantee you a better life because this place sucks anyway. They don't treat you fairly, blah, blah, blah. And he, you yeah. know, him being young at the time, he was like, all right, fine, yeah, revolution. You know, they, they, they get you while you're young. That's why so many protesters are these kids who have no future prospects because they're too busy trying to fight someone else's war because they don't have anything of their own. They, yeah. They, they haven't developed their mind enough to be like, hey, I'm responsible for my life and I need to do, you know, so on and so forth. So what he was explaining in his book is like how the process works, how they find people and how these people are some of the most racist pieces of shit because they're just using you. They they get you Ooh. into their uh, their system under the guise of you getting all this cool, amazing stuff and you're equal. You're one of us, but you'll never rank up. Because God forbid, this nigga that's already ahead of you won't let you take his spot. Yeah. You know, your Al <laughs> Sharptons and stuff like that. Yeah. I'm the race hustler. You just want to go out there and burn shit. <clears throat> and if you get killed, whatever. So it's largely the same thing. Yeah. Uh, to, to like, you know, a, a more, to a more extreme modern example. And you just apply that same logic to gaming. And so that's the reason why they're so hyper-focused on white people is because white people essentially are the glue that keeps America together. I know black folks don't like to hear it, but like it is what it is. We only make up 12% of the population. It is literally impossible for us to have done anything <laughs> to like to have to have America stupid. But um they keep pushing that rhetoric around because it gets people emotionally uh, involved. Because, you know, just like Black History Month was like just last month. And that whole month they were pushing this message like, you guys are so amazing and important. It's not fair that white people don't give you the blah, blah, blah. But what they're really doing is just trying to recruit you to become a part of this angry mob of people who are yeah. unable to get out of their own way because... The act, the truth for like, you know, making it for yourself is you're responsible for your own actions. Adopt some responsibility, make your own way, and stop being a victim. That's actually the answer to like a, a better life. <laughs> it's very simple, but you have to be responsible for your life in order to get that. And as we see in the black community, eh, responsibility, and then when you see with women, accountability. Bro, I'm learning something here, man. That's that's some good knowledge. You dropping some gems, some real yeah. good gems. Uh, so I'm, I'm learning. That's 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 dope. 